Alright! Hello, Exit. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Chaos Child. Hello, Olga, as well. But last time on the Kazuki route. Oh my god, she's used her powers to save Taku. And, you know, freaking uh, Nono and Sarah and everybody, you know, just got to know her. But, of course, because that threat was resolved early in the story with that. Hello, Void Dweller, welcome to the stream. <laughs> we had a brand new threat in, in the form of Kazuki's out of control powers. And now we're getting to see freaking dragons and like monsters and shit running around the city. Like, hello, Liz, welcome to the stream. This is what I've been fucking talking about. Oh, is Twitch fucking up? Uh oh. Is it? Oh, uh, but let me tell you guys this is what I've been talking about. Is something wrong with Twitch? I. Uh... Oh, hello, Bleed. Hello, Void Traveler. Welcome to the stream. But seriously, like, they're finally, like, showing the true potential of, like, the crazy-ass shit a Gigalomania can actually do. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I see. And, like, you know, having monsters going around the city, this is what I've been fucking waiting for. It's like, th so far, like, this game, I gotta say, has, uh has used uh, Gigalomaniacs just, I don't know, in some ways more and in some ways less than the previous game. In, in the previous game, they were used for mostly by the by the bad guy and, and for gruesome murders by Sua. And, uh, and of course, the final battle was balls to the wall, insane at the very end. But, uh, <laughs> the reverse Isekai, yeah, I guess you could say that. But, like, I gotta say, I really love, like, all the different ways this game's using it. I really love it. And, like, this use, this is, like, just pushing that envelope even further. So, let's see how they're going to take care of these monsters. I can't wait. The first thing we did was head for the school. It was dead silent. There wasn't a single car. Not only were there no Hikio students, there weren't even any pedestrians. Had Shibuya ever been this empty since the earthquake? Six years ago, there had been rubble everywhere, and I'd felt so alone as I faced what felt like the end of the world. But this seemed different. It didn't feel lonely. It felt uncomfortable. The town was still pristine, but all the people were gone. It was like a ghost town. All the shops had their shutters lowered. It seemed that they've closed for the day. Everyone had run off as far as they could. It made sense, considering what they had just seen on live TV. Like, I'd imagine if people saw that, they would think it's like a movie or something. Like, there's no way anyone would actually believe that was happening. They'd think it was like some CGI type thing. We tried to pay as much attention to our surroundings as possible as we headed forward. We were especially careful at intersections. Oh, I would stay the fuck away, Void. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything to fight a monster! <laughs> Another monster like that dragon could come rushing out of the shadows at any instant. Well, it would be depending on where it was. Void. Like, if it was on the other side of town, then yeah, sure. If we ran into one of them, we wouldn't stand a chance. Ah, uh, don't sell yourself sh Oh yeah, that's right. Taku... In this route, in all the character routes, it seems Taku didn't really get a chance to awaken his powers. That that was like the consequence of doing something different when uh, 
facing down Haida. So yeah, he doesn't have his powers yet. I could hear the faint sound of someone yelling into a microphone in the distance. The Shibuya area is extremely dangerous at this time. Please stay indoors and evacuate to the designated safe zones. I could see a police car in the distance, moving slowly. There was probably an officer inside the car, using his microphone to urge people to evacuate. The car was slowly heading towards us. If we stayed out here, the policeman would de tell us we had to leave Shibuya. That would be un the end of our investigation. Kazuki, Kotsa. Kazuki, this way. I ducked into a narrow alleyway so the car wouldn't find us. I felt like a criminal running from the police. Although if the appearance of this other portal device really was our fault, Maybe this wasn't totally wrong. <sighs> we ran left and right through the maze of alleyways, and finally came out in front of Park U. I gasped at what I saw there and quickly hid in the shadows. Kalski wasn't as quick as I was, so I grabbed her hand and pulled. I ended up pulling her slap tightly up against my body with my arms around her. I'm sorry. I quickly let go. Kazuki didn't seem bothered by it. She just adjusted her glasses. Did you see that? <sighs> this time I quickly popped my head out to take a look. Oh, damn, it's a different one. It's a yellow dragon. There was another portal device in front of Park U, and around it there were three monsters. Holy shit! One was a yellow and black dragon. It was a different colored version of the flame arch dragon that had eaten the reporter. Now that I saw it up close, I was astonished at its size. The other two were two-legged giants covered in thick white fur, a little less than three meters tall. Their arms were as thick as tree trunks. So they're yetis of some kind. Fortunately, none of them seem to have noticed us. Poison Arc Dragon to Snow Ridge ga nitai kamo. A poison arch dragon and two snow liches, maybe. Dotchi mo Ensu Tsu no monster ka? Are they both ESO2 monsters? Mm. Mm. Kazuki nodded. It really did feel like I was looking at a computer model. It didn't seem real. It kind of stinks. I smelled something kind of rotten. It was a stinging stench that hung in the nose. I could see several red lumps around the feet of the monsters. Oh, they've been snacking. I looked closely to see what they were and quickly realized that they had once been human. But now they were just bloody lumps of flesh. They'd been crushed, torn apart, and left there. There was more than just one or two people. There were at least ten of them lying on the ground. But the number of portal devices when the number of portal devices has, has increased, so had the number of victims. The, wow, they just keep finding more. Only then did I finally realize that the stench was coming from the corpses. <laughs> it was so awful I wanted to throw up. I'd seen a reporter die on the news today. It was shocking, sure, but it also felt like I was just watching a movie. It hadn't seemed real. But this smell was different. It was all too real. 
told me what I was seeing was real before my brain had even started to process. But I couldn't just continue standing here in shock. I needed to continue my investigation. That's the third portal we've seen so far. Which means it's safe to assume that there's a fourth and a fifth. How many of them are we going to find? Ito might be fine, but what about Serika and Kurusu? <laughs> They're completely defenseless. <laughs> Maybe asking them for help was a mistake. I didn't realize that Shibuya has become so dangerous. I want to see that. Dang. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> I really want to see that fucking fight. Do you think there's any way to get rid of them? Mm -hmm. Kazuki shook her head helplessly. It would be best if we could get rid of them, maybe. Well, I think that's obvious. But I don't know if we can. What have you done before? Yeah, right. Like, I can imagine, like, this has happened before. How did she deal with it then? You've made other things become real before, right? What happened to them? Did they just keep existing or did they suddenly disappear at some point? Smiling. <laughs> huh. For some reason, Kazuki smiled. The smile was a mix of sadness and resignation. That was the only answer I needed. She seemed to be saying that there's no way be we'd be lucky enough that they just disappear. <laughs> so is Shibuya going to be like this forever? That'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> Have we turned the world into an RPG? Suddenly I heard the faint noise of a car in Divine. Just as I spun around. I heard the roar of a beast round it out. I looked down the hill and... Oi, oi. Oh shit! I saw a patrol car barreling toward us at top speed. Behind it were five or so monsters storming after it. I'm guessing they're trying to lure them all someplace. What is that? There are other monsters? And they're not just wandering around near the portal device, but they're moving around the city. All five of them were the same types as the ones near the portal device. Three were hairy giants and two were dragons. Wait, they're heading this way. They're really fast too. Even the police car can't shake them off. Wait, this means the car is bringing the monsters toward us. Oh, 
come. Oh my god! Oh! Oh wow, they're doing the freaking, uh, the fancy thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like ESL. Anyone who trains is a jerk or an idiot. Maybe. It's, uh, it's when a player like lures monsters from one area to another like usually what she's talking about is like when someone lures high level monsters into a low level area and like freaking uh, uses it to kill players i didn't know if it was a common thing that people did but i understood the nuance hide let them pass by us now, I wonder, do the monsters only uh, go by their behavior in-game? Because monsters in games aren't usually programmed to smash buildings. They're programmed to fight the people, and that's it. Like, fight the player characters. In a game, like, a monster usually isn't programmed to smash a building in a, in a town. They aren't even technically supposed to usually be in a town, and if they are, it's a destroyed town that they just wander around. So, do they follow the rules that they were originally programmed? Yeah, like, to, to follow? Or do they actually... Or are they, like, their own true beings? Like, like do they have the powers that they have in the game? Or are they bound by the laws of our reality? I wonder. I pulled Kazuki by the hand and ran down the stairs to a shop that sold grilled beef tap. At the bottom of the stairs was the entrance to the store, but all the lights were off inside. We hid inside and waited for them to pass. I couldn't see what was going on outside from here. My only option was to rely on the sound. I could hear the sound of the police car and the sound of the monster's footsteps shaking the earth. Kosuke gripped my hand tightly. If they managed to find us, just imagining it made me shiver. I don't think those huge monsters can fit down the tiny stairs, but... Hiding down here a good idea. There's nowhere to run if they see us. Kazuki and I instinctively clutch each other tightly, holding our breaths and focusing on the sounds outside. We could hear the squeal of tires as the police car turned down the intersection in front of us. The monsters howled again. The earth shook even more violently. Please don't notice us. All I could do was pray. sound got further away. I couldn't hear the police car either. Are they gone? We're saved. Are you okay? It was then that I realized Kosky was clinging to me. Or more specifically, I was clinging to her. I'd been holding her so tightly that her chest was heaving up and down in pain. Uh, uh, go, go me. Oh, I'm sorry. I quickly backed away. Kosky fidgeted a little and took several deep breaths. I bet that Minamakita Kenji Sensei, the cool cat press author, would have been able to come up with the perfect dandy remark to say at a time like this. <laughs> I walked up the stairs and took another look at the portal device in front of Park Yu. 
The monsters were gone. The police car had drawn away the three monsters that were around the device. We might be able to make it pass now. Can Kazuki destroy them? Let's see. The two of us looked at one another and ran out up the stairs. But as we tried heading towards Spain Hill, we saw something odd and froze. The portal device was shining with a strange golden light. Uh-oh, something's about to come through. I could hear a loud noise like clashing metal. I watched in shock as the light around the portal device began to coalesce into a monster. It was the same thing I'd seen on the news. Which meant that... Another one's coming out! I motioned to Koski and we quickly turned back. By the time we made it back to the school, we were both too out of breath to run anymore. How <laughs> these monsters is going to keep appearing? If so, then... Maybe no one will be able to live in Shibuya anymore. It'll be all our fault. I suddenly had a brief blast from a siren. It was another police car. Was it the one that had been training the monsters earlier? But I didn't see any monsters around. The police car stopped in front of us. Driver's side window opened and the officer within spoke to us. Did you see another car come this way? Kazuki and I both nodded. Where? Where'd you see it? Which way did it go? In front of Park U. I didn't know which way it had gone since I hadn't seen it myself. As we stood there in silence, the police in motion to us. Get inside, you two! It's dangerous out here. I'll take you somewhere safe. But... Do you want to get killed? There are monsters everywhere. Come on, get in! I almost told him that he should blame the police car they've been training back there, but I changed my mind. This policeman was risking his life trying to protect us. He was fighting to get people out of the city, even if it meant facing the risk of being attacked by those horrific monsters. I couldn't turn him down just because I wanted to continue my investigations. God damn it. Uishi. <laughs> That's a name I hadn't heard in years. Hilarious. The next day, we all gathered in the club room. Hito said that he had come all the way around from Harajuku. That was pretty smart of him. It wasn't safe to walk around in Shibuya anymore, after all. The school itself was supposed to be closed, which made sense because of the portal device on the roof. But strangely enough, no monsters had appeared from the school's portal device. Huh. Maybe if a person sacrifices themselves to it, it stops? I had no idea why that was the case, though. Russo looked pale. Whenever I looked at her, she was silent and concerned. But I figured that was a normal reaction to what was currently happening in Shibuya. In contrast, Ito didn't look tired at all. Whenever my eyes met his, he would poke me with his elbow. Oi, oi. Oh my god, that's, that's what's on your mind. <laughs> Hey, 
So when did you and Kazuki get like that, huh? Huh? Uh huh? So you Get like what? Don't try to fool me. I never thought you'd become a normie. And now you're gonna left me behind. Still, I'm amazed it was Kazuki, not on the way there the Empress. Seriously, they had the most flags with you and you just ignored them. Huh. I didn't expect her to be your type. <laughs> so what? Are you feeding each other dried squid with your mouth? That's pretty naughty. Damn it! What the hell is he talking about? Is he stupid? Ito-kun? Ito-kun? Caruso glared at him. The ice in her stare went well below freezing temperature. So you guessなはなしをするなら今すぐ出てってくれる? If you're going to be disgusting, would you please just leave now? Sumasen. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Caruso sighed and opened her bag. She had brought an especially big bag today. She took some wrapped up boxes out of the bag and put them on the table. Kazuki to Ishoni, Ato de Tabenasai. Eat these with Kazuki later. I unwrapped them and saw that they contained sandwiches. I'm fine, though. いいのにじゃないでしょう。コンビニやスーパーがいつも通りに空いてると思ってるの。You are not fine. Do you think the convenience stores and supermarkets are open like usual? 油断していると食事に困って大変なことになるわよ。If you're not careful, you'll run out of food and be in big trouble. To be honest, I was incredibly grateful. Just like Russo had said, none of the stalls were open. Last night, we'd had to go all the way to Tomagaya to get food. Oh god, what is Serika doing at this time? Is she like out being like a friggin' dragon slayer? Is it just Donaway who's not here? Is she okay? He was right. Serica wasn't here. I just sent the meeting time to around noon, so it wasn't like she was late, but... I was still worried. Shibuya was swarming with monsters right now, if one of them attacked her on the way to school. Since I was thinking about going to look for her, the door to club room flung open, and Serica came running in. Everybody's here already! Am I late? If you're running late, then send us a message. Don't you know what's happening out there? <laughs> Sorry! 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 Isn't that kind of exciting to be at school when no one else is around? Who knows I'm for a run around the gym? This is super special awesome. Is that why she's late? Does she enjoy this turn of events? Is she the heroine of an RPG or something? I don't know whether she's brave, thoughtless, or just dumb. I also don't know how she can even laugh at a time like this. Oh, 
Why would we call Ari Mora? She's not a main character in this route. She's not part of the newspaper club. All these things happen way, way after this point in the story. You're attacked by a woman who shot fire from her hands, right? I wonder if that might have something to do with this. Hilarious, Void. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. I'm Takaru Bannings and I'm fine. <laughs> oh, that, that's really funny. It does, but to be honest, it really doesn't. Ooh? Huh? But I set this whole thing up. I, I, but aren't you curious about that part? That doesn't make any sense. Not more, if nothing else, she's not going to, to attack us again. I think. I mean, seriously. One fire shooting lady, which we destroyed, and now there's dragons and monsters everywhere around the city. I think one of these things take priority. Uh. I guess. I'm not fully convinced we'll never see her again, but still. If this were an RPG, she would have been transported somewhere to be either the final boss or like a minion to the final boss. But we are not, so she's probably dead. Arimura was fine after the attack, right? Arimura was fine after the attack, right? Yeah, we were with her the whole time. She stayed at Alba Dorm that night. She was a lot calmer the next morning, so we sent her home. Alright, then there's no need to worry about her. Sate, Surja. All right, uh, can I get started? I asked you all to go search Shibuya yesterday. I'd like you to put together your findings to figure out how many portal devices are in Shibuya. I explained to everyone that they were called portal devices. And also that they came from a game called ESO2. Oh? Huh? Rei's portal, what does have to do with you and Hina Hana-chan? I swear if I have to keep playing dumb for during a crisis, I will literally go even more insane than I already am. Please, Taku, just figure this out. Ah, I'm just being really silly right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do at all. Well, there's no real need to explain anything to you, is there, on a way? You're not going to understand either way. <laughs> Stupid, silly little on a way. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, just kill me. Oh, suko. Oh, right. <laughs> that was good enough for her. でも一応聞きたいよ。それはでも意味ない。タクル、ちゃんと説明しなさい。タクル、please explain。人が死んでいるのよ。しかもたくさん。People are dead. A lot of people. 
What are those monsters? Ah, Oremo Mita Patoka or Sotta. Soreto Saisho in Namachuke, Sareta Leno Newsmo. Ariam Nanda. Oh, I saw them too. They were attacking a cop car. And then there was that first live broadcast. What the hell are those things? Monster da. Mochidori. Monsters. Literally. More and more showing up all the time. Fuete They're multiplying? Seriously? Itaiga Atskuchi Hoti Sareteta Anna Hidoi. There were bodies everywhere. It was awful. Sorega Anatachno say that to you, Nara, said Smeste. If you're saying that, if you're saying that's your fault, then explain. I might be able to talk my way out of explaining things to Serika or Ito, but that's not going to work on Karusu. I actually know everything that's going to happen. But that he, that he, that he's going to say, but I don't know, let's see, I want to see what he says. I did say on the phone yesterday that the pool of devices and monsters might be my fault after all. Oh god, wait. <laughs> Kazuki was standing in front of the whiteboard, staring down at her feet. It wouldn't be right not to explain. After all that had happened, there was no way I'd be able to keep it a secret. It would probably just be better to explain things to everyone in the newspaper club. And so I told them everything, including the secret of Kazuki's power. It turns out anime is real. And now even more real than it already was. First, no one seemed how to react. To know how to react. After processing it, they all looked shocked. I thought Ito would tell me to, st not to stop joking around, but... By the time I was halfway done, he was holding his head in his hands. Seriously? This is insane. Do you believe me? Shinjiru sa. Miyashiro to Kazuki ga kyu sekkin shita riyu ga zutto nazo datta nda. I do. I couldn't figure out why you and Kazuki became so close out of nowhere. Datte Miyashiro ga Kazuki o kudoku nante zettai sozo tsukanai daro. Demo ima no setsume de yatto nattoku shita. After all, I can't imagine you convincing Kazuki to be your girlfriend. But this explains it. Is that really what you're focusing on here? Hello, scorpions and witch, welcome to the stream. Hello, gone to heaven, welcome to the stream. What do you say? Either way, I'm not interested in discussing whether what I just said is true or not. Let me focus on the portal devices now. Everyone nodded. Oh, we have a map! It's a, a map Alright, should we all take turns telling you what we saw? Whether we saw any of those, uh, what'd you call them? Portal devices? Oh, I know, Scorpions. I love the game so far. It's fantastic. Seriously, I love this game so much already. The police actually found us and drove us out of Shibuya yesterday. When I was in the police car, they told me what they knew. 
after everyone tells me what they saw, I'll compare it to what I heard from them. Alright, I'll start. I found two portals. One was floating right in front of the Shibuya police station, down Meiji Dori, between Ebisu and the train station. Right in front of Shibuya police station, huh? huh. I turned around and headed across Shibuya River, river towards Sakura Gao Kacho. Damn, that is a mouthful. And when I tried to cross Roppongi Dori, I saw one at the Shibuya Station South Exit Bus Terminal. The South Exit Bus Terminal? It seems like it's following someone's route almost. Those, monst oh, those monsters are nasty, huh? I thought one of the Easter Island statues had gotten up and started walking around. In front of the Shibuya police station on Meiji Dori. And the south exit bus terminal at Shibuya station, right? I should mark this on the map. Come on. Oh, I, oh God. Oh, oh my, what? Oh, oh God. Oh, you are shitting me. Okay, I can at least, wow. They never had us do this in the main game. Should be a police station and south exit buster. Oh my god, let me let me save. <laughs> Jesus Louise's cruises. No, it didn't freeze. It didn't freeze. Thank god they translated the fucking okay, police station. The map is untranslated in the unpatched version of the game? Wow. Wow, what? Wow, what fuckery is that? How could they sell the game like that? Oh my god. Wow. When I get to the true ending, make sure to read the end credits song, uh, the lyrics? Oh, I absolutely will. I am just such a big fan of Takaru and Sarek, and I am just holding my breath waiting to see what's the deal, what happened with Sarek in the true ending. Like, did she get to keep her powers or what? Like, did she get to keep her power and memory? But did, did the freaking, did, was Takaru able to remove the freaking evil, like, like eternal des desire to do that task from her mind? It's like, oh my god. I am just so waiting for that because I loved Serika and Takadu so much and just oh god. <laughs> but yeah, this this not being there is actually uh South Exit Buster. This not being there in the unpatched is literally literally unplayable. South Exit Bus Terminal. Uh, no. Fire station. Uh, where there's seven. Same scorpion. Same. Same. I is it here? I I I can't. Post office. Is your comment visible? Oh, if I want to get the bad ending first, then I should make a mistake. Uh, let's see. Well, there's probably going to be more than this. 
Oh, hello, Servena. Welcome to the stream. I I did save right before this. You know what? Let me just. Uh... Oh, this is probably it. Should be a station, right? Because that's the only one that should be a station. All right, I'm gonna make a mistake here. So I can get the bad ending first. I already saved. How about you two, Onoi? We found you! Oh, but one of them was the one from the news yesterday, so I guess that doesn't really count. I don't know. That's the one behind Sign City, right? Sign City was a pair of buildings right on the west side of Shibuya Station. It was a hotel and office complex with its own private railroad. It had survived the earthquake six years ago. Eh. Dogen Zakawa got dick to you there. She's on a rojo hider. That's right. We went down a tiny alley on our way through up through Dogen Zaka. Dogen Zaka, huh? Moikoa, it's mother Nana no Sugarman no my. The other was right in front of the one I stop in building. Dogen Zaka no Tochu Tor. In Dogen Zaka. Well, clearly Dogen Zaka is. Oh, oh, okay, they did it on. Okay. He did it on his own. Okay, I see. Interesting. And in front of the 107 building. I should mark that information down too. Okay, so he did one. Clearly, the 107 building is at Shibuya Fire Station. That matches what I heard from the police. We found one device. It was right in front of Park U. The police seem to think that the monsters are active when it within a hundred meter radius of the portal devices. That was probably just as close as any of them dared to get. Of course, there was a chance that even if you got that close, the monsters wouldn't see you, or that they'd attack you outside of that area. Do the police know where all the portals are? Ah. Minaga Mitsketa Mono Igai Dato. Yes, in addition to the ones you found. And of course, Hekyo Academy. Oh, is it supposed to form a big ass circle? Oh, wow. I wonder. I wonder. Huh. That seems about right. Huh? Looks like they're surrounding the station. Does that mean anything? That's a good point. Does it actually mean something? I would faint, Void Dweller, if that happened. Maybe they don't want people in Shibuya, use Shibuya using that station? Why? Don't ask me. Ne, Hana Chan. Do you see the noka? Wakaru? Hey, Hana Chan. Do you know? Kalski was still staring at her feet. 
which proved to be quite the arduous task given her chest. Oh, sorry. I'm not saying it's your own fault, Hanachan. I was just trying to figure it out. Oh, there's no meaning. It's all coincidence. I spoke as if to reprove Serika. But it was just as night-hearted told me. I told her, remember? Kazuki can't control her power. The fact that the portal devices are showing up at places people go to a lot is proof of that. It's easier for her delusions to echo in places like that. I understand? Don't tilt your head in confusion when you say you understand. Ah! You obviously don't understand at all. Your head is so empty, you have no idea what's going on. I'm a, I think it's an absolute miracle that you can even breathe. Hey, Shaku! <laughs> uh, the things I do for this guy. Anyway, this is really bad. What are you referring to specifically? There are a lot of people stuck in the Ikari wall. Oh shit! Didn't There, final battle land. Oh wow. Huh? Who? Weren't they supposed to ev evacuate all the people left in the station? Shabia had been put under a heavy curfew yesterday. The police had gone around evacuating anyone they could find. Last night, all the train companies had stopped transit to Shibuya station. They weren't sure the station would be safe. The station, st ah, sorry. the station had been shut down and the shutters lowered. A lot of people have been trapped there. And there was big debate online about how to get them out. As of this morning, one of the railroad companies had put together a desperate plan to send a train to the station and get the people out. I heard there's a bunch of people who deliberately didn't evacuate. And they're all in the Ikari wall. You know how there's all those homeless people in Miyashita Park, right? Those are the guys in Ikari wall. なるほどな。I see. They don't have ever anywhere else to go. So Gensong is there too. I'm worried about him. Who knows how safe it is to hide there for refuge. The station's been sealed off, right? This is kind of like how things were six years ago. Kind of, sort of, if you squint. Maybe Taco couldn't do something about it. I might be able to salvage this. So I, Taku. Don't you think so, Taku? So you could you know. Don't say that. Fucking damn it. Oh, fiddlesticks. 
A month ago, I would have been so excited about this situation. But only because I probably wouldn't have been involved. Now things were different. I was partially to blame for this. I couldn't feel any excitement at all. We all tried to come up with plans to fix things, but no one had any real ideas. We knew the answer from the beginning. Since there was no way to control Kazuki's power, there was no way for her to erase her real Buddha delusions. After about two hours, we started to realize that it might not be safe to stay at the school, and decided to head home. Takuru, you don't have I wonder how long the bad ending is. Huh. Takuru? You don't have anywhere to go, do you? Why not come home? And they're all still alive. Yeah. By home, she meant our door. If you did have a point, I couldn't go back to Miyashita Park. It was likely that there were monsters there now. Talk is staying with Hana-chan now, right? How lewd. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh, I really want her to be cured, but like, she was so cool in her badass moments. But it was so tragic about like how she was forced to like be a slave to that order that he gave her without even realizing he did so. Oh man. Which is why I just want to see what she's like in the true ending so badly. <sighs> like, I don't know. I just really think Serica is just like is like such a such a cool character, but also so tragic. Ay oh, jeez. In that she was kind of like, sh her free will was kind of taken. Like, unknowing, like, without. And she's, it's all she's ever known, so she doesn't really know. But I really want to see what she's like now without it. Without that thing, con like, that order controlling her will. Anyway, back to this route. <laughs> Kazuki shook her head furious, furiously. Exactly, Scorpions. It's her fault, but also not, like, yeah, it's like, it's like she had no choice but to do it, even though it was her own fault for doing it. It's like, it was, it's as if, like, you had, like, a gun pointed to your head, like, told to do these things, basically. It's, what is it's like, what the equivalent would be, I guess. Even, even more than that, I'd say. なみやしろ。風呂とか入ってるのか脱衣所で風呂上がりにばったりみたいなラッキースケベイベントには遭遇したかでも、いつも、ビーンリーリーホーニーです。フルー。へみやしろ、イチェキンバスウェイユーデア
I don't understand why Kazuki doesn't like type or write down. Like she should write down what she wants to say. Like you know, t like type it on her phone and show it to people. Like that's what like that's what the girl did in freaking uh, Durara, like who couldn't speak. Like she just typed on her phone and showed people what she wanted to say. Nothing like that's happened, she says. I see. Sorry. It's rare to see Kazuki so upset. So, Takuru, what will you do? Come home. I. Yeah. No, I won't. <laughs> Once again, I really think the only time Takadu is ever gonna listen to what Nono says is on her route. He it's like he is super consistent at not listening to what Nono says. Like he never, ever does. Ever. I can't leave Kazuki alone. Then both of you can come. I knew she was going to come. I can't do that. It might put the dorm in danger. That's not. Taku, are you okay with that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, she just wants what Takuda wants in his heart of hearts. I wonder if we'll ever get to see Serika's desire, like a desire of her own. Alright, then let's go everybody! Come on, you too, Nanchan! Oh, wait, Serika? Taku, uh, Hana chan, bye bye! <laughs> Taku, Hana chan, bye bye! <laughs> Serika smiled and waved, then grabbed Ito and Karusu by the hand and went to leave the room. Ah, pure innocent Serika. Takuru, Kazuki no koto tanobu wa yo! Takuru, take care of Kazuki. If something happens, call me right away. Got it? Uh, no. N yes. Caruso looked like she wanted to say more, but Serika dragged her out of the room before she could. Kazuki and I were left alone in the club. I just decided that on my own. Oh, was that okay? If you don't want me coming over anymore, tell me. <sighs> she shook her head again. That was all she'd been doing lately. Demo. But... But then she suddenly started to talk. Even though she'd been so insistent about not talking when everyone else was around. Maybe that meant she trusted me. Serika-senpai no koto... ii no? Is Serika-senpai gonna be upset? Ii no te... Upset? Takuru-senpai ga watashi no heya kuruto. Oh, 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 Kazuki, Kazuki, 
Kazuki ships it too. <laughs> Even on her own goddamn route. Wow. Awesome. If you come to my room, Saraka Senpai might be upset. Maybe. Nande. Why? What reason could she have to be upset? Nande. Takuru Senpai to Seriko Senpai. Tsukiyot. No, 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 we are not. Where would you get that idea just because we're childhood friends who spend all our time together? Uh, uh, you know what, you actually have a point. Mm -hmm. huh? But you're always together, maybe. Oh, I chipped him so hard. Oh my god, I just think those two are so cool. Seriously. Oh man. Because we've known each other since we were kids. Mm. <sighs> Hello, hello, Mirage. Welcome to the stream. You're not dating. I didn't know that. Maybe. Did Kazuki get mad back there because she didn't want Seraka misunderstanding things? It says that she was wasting her time. Still, I can't believe you thought that. Wow, that, that's not a very nice thing to say. Jeez. Taku, what are you doing, man? I'm a little surprised. It didn't seem like you cared about anyone else. <sighs> wow, Taku. You seriously gonna say something like that? Seriously? <laughs> Anyway, let's go home. It might be dangerous here. But then I realized Kazuki had sat down at the PC to play ESO 2. And she had her headphones on. Wait, where did you start the game? Sheesh. She must have been really excited to play her game. Kazuki's gaze was locked on the monitor. She didn't look away for an instant. Her concentration was palpable. If I interrupted her, she might punch me instead of the wall. I figured that it wouldn't hurt to let her play for a while. Since I didn't have much to do while she was playing a game, I decided to go up to the roof. Of course I didn't go to the back, I just went up past the crumbling stairs to look outside. The portal device was still floating out there. But unlike the one in front of Park U, there were no bodies anywhere. Just a single red stain on the floor. Were monsters not going to appear from this one? Yeah, what, what is so special about the first one here? I wonder if her uh, freaking Hyderiko going with it, like, did something to it. I felt an indescribable terror welling up within me. It was so scary being here alone. Is this where the... I wonder when we're going to get the bad end. I ran back to the club room. How soon does the bad ending cut off?
Or is it like really a whole separate route? Like... Because in the main, in the main, in the main route, the bad ending cut off. It like it, it did a quick cut off, like when you got the uh, the map wrong. Once Kazuki started a game, she wouldn't take her headphones off, no matter how much I yelled at her. She was totally lost within a game, and had totally forgotten I'd ever existed. That's right. That's who Kazuki Hana is. She wouldn't normally use her power to save me, regardless of the risks. It takes quite a lot, dang. Or let me stay in a room. Normally, this is who she is. I'd been living with her in the same room for a few days, so I briefly forgot about that. Still, I'm amazed how much she can play a game for so long without any breaks. Doesn't she ever have to go to the bathroom? Hope she doesn't forget to hydrate. Actually, I remember that Cool Cat Press once did an article on gamers who never left their seats. They said a true gamer would rather keep playing than take the time to go to the bathroom. Oh no! They're, they don't have a delusion about this, Taku. Please, I beg you. So if they had to go, they would use a plastic soda bottle or something like that. When I saw the article, I thought it had to be fictional. Now that I'm watching Kazuki like this, I'm not so sure anymore. Wait, does Kazuki ever, ever go in soda bottles? No, no, no. What the hell am I thinking? Ever since I started living in the same room as her, I started having more and more delusions like that. Uh-oh, delusion? Maybe it was just because I was a boy still going through puberty. But later I'd come to hate myself for feeling that way, given all that was going on. <gasps> a huge noise almost caused me to jump in the air. Kazuki had hit the wall again. What had happened this time to upset her? I looked outside the window. The sky was turning red. It was surprisingly noisy outside. There wasn't a single person inside or outside the school. The bad ending happens the next day. But the noise was coming from the police sirens on the ground and media helicopters up above. The media had decided it was too risky to head in Shibuya directly, so they were forced to do their reporting from the sky. Still, it had felt like they'd been there all day, from morning to night. I was amazed they hadn't gotten bored. Without anyone here in Shibuya, it wasn't like anything interesting would happen anymore. Hmm? Uh-oh. What's going on? Suddenly I thought I heard a different noise than the sound of the helicopter rotors. I held my breath and listened. It didn't seem like I was imagining it. I could hear the sound. It was a sound I'd normally never pay any attention to, but a sound that I definitely shouldn't have heard in this building at this point in time. Uh-oh, is it Hyderico? Or, uh, I don't know who else it would be. Someone's footsteps were coming down the hall. So it was enough to bring back my memory of several days ago. Is that woman still alive? A particularly nasty sweat started to pour out of my body. 
I tried my best not to make a sound as I concentrated all my focus into my ears. The footsteps didn't sound like the person was wearing heels. I didn't hear any dragging. It wasn't that woman. At least that's what I wanted to believe. That's true, because she, she walks with a limp. That's true. But then who? Was someone besides us still in the school? But who? The others had gone home hours ago. Had they come back? But then wouldn't they call or text me first? I peeked outside the teacher's office when I'd arrived, and there was no one there. The only other possibility I could think of was that someone besides us had ignored the police warning and stayed in Shivia. The footsteps were getting closer. I tapped Kazuki on the shoulder and made a take off her headphones. Someone's coming. <sighs> What should we do? Hide? Run out into the hallway? They probably already know we're here. Nobody would come all the way to the fifth floor of the building otherwise. But who could they be? Maybe the mastermind who was controlling that woman? If that's the case, it'd be a bad idea to hide. But I really doubt that Kazuki and I would be able to fight them either. In that case, we have to run away. It's better than hiding. Kazuki, you get all. Kazuki, we're going to run. <sighs> I saw Kazuki nod, then took a deep breath and opened the door. I ran out into the hallway. But there was someone standing there and I ran straight into them. Uh oh. Who is it? <gasps> I lost my balance and almost fell over. Someone grabbed my hand as it flailed out into the air. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Wait, is it him? Are you okay? No. Huh? It was only then I realized who it was. Oh, oh boy! Please, Mr. Walkwe? Is this what he's been saved for? Hello, March. Welcome to the street. I was wondering why he didn't make, do anything in the main game aside from like show up twice. He looks like he'd be pretty fucking evil. I wonder. I wonder if he was being saved for this route. Or a route, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> So it was you guys, huh? The language teacher, who was also the advisor for the newspaper club and student council, looked at us both and grinned. There was a call from some of the parents. Why, why could we nibble on the dried squid? Because he offered him as he explained. They were showing shots of Shivia from the sky on the news. And someone said they saw people in the building. So they said So I came to check on you. Sheesh. They can't cut me a break, you know. All I could do was laugh. It was just like Walker we'd end up being forced into coming here because he could he couldn't bring himself to refuse. 
We'd managed to make it here because we knew a lot about the situation in Shibuya. But Wakui must have come without doing any research at all. Wrong siders like him were always the first to die. Too much time in peaceful Japan had addled his brain. What were you doing? They closed the school because it's dangerous. Hmm. Now how should I talk my way out of this? There's no point in telling Wakui the truth after all. <laughs> As I tried to figure out the best way, Kazuki walked back to the computer and booted up ESO2 again. Wakui stared at her suspiciously for a moment. Uh, were you playing video games? <laughs> Kazuki nodded without looking away from the screen. <sighs> so that's why. You guys know people have died, right? I'm sorry, like, this this expression just looks like he could totally be evil. Yeah, like, Akutsuki, yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly, Halavraj. He looks like he could be like the Akutsuki of this game. Soto Hotsuki Arukuriwa, Kakona in the Hoga Anzendua. It's safer to be inside the school than outside, right? Soreo Yunara, Shibuyakara Deta Hoga in Janakana. But wouldn't be it be even safer to leave Shibuya out altogether? Well, I live in Miyashita Park. Ah, Oh, right. There's no way you can go. Some relative's place. Ah, uh, this conversation is pointless. I've known Wakui since I started the newspaper club. Did I never tell him that I don't have any relatives? Anyway, I do understand how you feel. Like, look at this face. Look at this face, like, with his teeth and everything. I don't know, he just looks like he could, like, they could easily use this for an evil character's expression. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I mean, Shibuya is basically under martial law, right? It's not every day that you get to experience that. Even if you know it's dangerous, you probably still want to experience it. <laughs> I guess it's one of the follies of youth. <laughs> But I don't think there's anything wrong with that, honestly. Oh, you seem confused to hear that. Just so you know, I was young once, too. But 
I'm not confused. I'm just bored. <laughs> I get the feeling this is going to take a while. Not to mention he's certainly trying to pull off the teacher who understands his students act. There's nothing wrong with that, Mr. Wakui, but you're wasting your time trying to understand me and Kazuki right now. The young always want to rebel against this system, against the adults. In fact, the first few decades after World War II, Japan was filled with young people like that. I guess it was around my parents' generation when things started to calm down. They were a little too understanding, you see. Especially my generation and the ones after us. Huh. Huh. I wasn't sure how to respond to this. He seems to be trauma dumping. What was the best way to get rid of this guy? Well, I couldn't let him find out that Kazuki and I were staying in the same room. Which meant that ideally I wanted to leave the school without him. My phone started to vibrate in my pocket. Wakui was still Takui, but I took out took it out anyway as a sign I wasn't interested in hearing what he had to say. <laughs> I got a message. It was from Kazuki. From Kazuki? I looked up. Kazuki was still playing ESO 2 with the back to me. But when I looked carefully, I saw that she was holding a smartphone with the hand that wasn't holding the mouse. Dual wielding. Interesting. <laughs> Why would she send me an email while I'm standing right in front of her? Well, uh, for, uh, in Kazuki's situation, she would for many reasons. She should do that more often. So it's so hard to tell what Kazuki's thinking. Or maybe there's something important that she can't tell me because Wakui is here. My curiosity peaked, I looked at the email. Huh? Miyashiro-kun? Miyashiro-kun, is something wrong? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So? Not a good Yes, all right. The Dokuma de Hanastak. Eh, to Tsunarine. Anyway, where, uh, where was I? Well, you see... Wakui was still Takui. Was he always this talkative? My heart was pounding loud and fast. My mind still couldn't process it.
couldn't believe what I just saw in that email. I took another look at it, being careful not to let Walker we see. Message from Nightheart. Oh my god! Fucking called it! <laughs> called it! Called it! Called it! Called it! Called it! Mr. Wakari is an assassin from the committee. Oh my god. I fucking knew he was evil. I knew it. An assassin. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to see his abilities. The committee would be the committee of 300 that Nighthawk brought up, right? Their assassin is Waku, of all people? I am usually not right, Void, but I was actually right in this case. Oh my god. <laughs> the language teacher? The guy who's rambling on right in front of me? Oh my god, that's hilarious, Olga. <laughs> By the way, what was the name of that thing you're looking into? Eh? Huh? Oh, you know. The one on the board. Did you find something out? Should I believe him or not? I thought did say the committee of 300 might take action. But he didn't tell me why. What exactly are they after? If he really is an assassin, are they trying to kill me and Kazuki? Do they not like what's happening in Shibuya right now? Of course not. No one would like it, not just the committee. But killing us won't magically make things better. Doesn't the committee know that? Maybe they think they decided that Kazuki was too big of a liability. And again, even if I told them that, would they really just leave us alone? Or is, is there another reason they want to kill us? I don't know. There's no way for me to know. All here I, I have are just guesses. Is what Nightheart said even true anyway? Does the Committee of 300 really exist? Where did he find out? How? What was his source? Looking back on it now, it's hard to say if he's even on our side. Kazuki seems to trust him, though. Is it possible that Nightheart is the real assassin for the Committee of 300? No. No, it's not. Oh, I accidentally right-clicked. If I wanted to be really skeptical, I can't even be sure that Nightheart contacted Kazuki just now. There's a chance she's lying to me. I don't know why, but there's a chance she might be trying to make me think Wakui's a bad guy. Wrong girlfriend. <laughs> I cheese, wrong girlfriend, Taku. There are all sorts of things to doubt. I'm so confused. Yeah, Kazuki caused the issue in the frickin' Hinai route, and now she's causing it here. I wonder if she's gonna do that in the Uki route, too. 
What should I believe in? Who? Who should I believe? Who am I supposed to believe? Oi, Miyashiro-kun? Hey, Miyashiro-kun? Hearing my name called shook me that out of the trance. Evidently, I've been lost in thought. You look kind of pale. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm fine. Uh, what are we talking about again? About the case. So, so. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna kill him now for like getting it wrong or something? Huh. That's right. You were doing a lot of crazy things while you were looking into it, right? <sighs> Kalski looked over her shoulder at me. When I saw the little bit of fear in her eyes, I made my decision. That's right. Even if I don't know whether or not I can trust Nightheart, there's no way that I can't trust Kaski. She's not the type of person who would lie to someone. Not to mention it doesn't make much sense for Wakui to be here right now anyway. He's the type of person who would go out of his way to avoid trouble. Would he really put himself in danger by coming to Shibuya just because a parent called? Kurusu-kun was complaining to me a long time ago. Miyashiro-kun was complaining to me a long time ago. Miyashiro-kun was complaining to me a long time ago. She told me that you weren't listening to anything she said. So she wanted me to talk to you. <laughs> well, that is true that he doesn't listen to anything she says. Huh. huh. But then why is Walker rambling on like this? Does it have to do with his ability? If he is an assassin, wouldn't he just try to kill us? He wouldn't send a complete amateur. He should be capable of killing us. I realized I was more nervous than I thought. Couldn't let it show. If Wakui found out, I was finished. Yeah, Bokumone? Gakse no Koroni, Sekai Kakuchi de Okiter, Sensoyara, Terojikan Nanka, Mikikiste, Iroiro Kangaitandao. You know, when I was a student, I would hear about wars and terrorist attacks going all over the world. And I think about it a lot. So today, バックパッカーとして旅に出たりしてね。いわゆる自分探しの旅ってやつかな。I actually ended up putting on a backpack and going on a trip. You know, one of those feel find yourself trips. い、意外ですね。I'm kind of surprised. だろ僕もあの頃は若かったな。Right. I was young then. What could be the reason that Walker was still talking about this? I can eliminate the possibility that Nightheart is wrong. If he is, then I'll be fine.
But it would be safe to assume, assume the worst case scenario. Possibility number one, he's trying to drag out the conversation to learn something from us. His target might just be me or it might be just Koski. What if he isn't sure who it is yet? Maybe he's only after the person who created the portal device. And he isn't sure if it was me or Kazuki. Maybe he's only after the person who created the portal device. And he isn't sure if that was me or Kazuki. Possibility number two, he's hesitant. He is our club advisor after all. It's possible that he feels some kind of sympathy towards us. No, there's no chance of that. But you know, I took your side. I understand how Caruso Kun feels, but you know I'm a man like you. Is he just waiting for all of us to fall into some trap? Or is he just not worried because he doesn't think we know who he really is? I sent a quick message back to Koski. We're going to run. As someone who was once a boy, I sympathized. He wasn't just they were too lazy to come lecture me? Oh, rude. Well, to be honest, you're right. <laughs> Her response immediately came back from Koski. How? For now, I just want to get out of this room. And get away from and get away from Wakui too, if I could manage it. Ah, But you know, it's not good to go too far. You're still students, you see. If you break the law, you could run your whole futures. You could ruin your whole futures. Ah, shuzaino hanashika. You mean the reporting we're doing? Hmm? Hmm? No, we haven't done anything wrong. That scared me. I thought he was talking about something else. The next thing I knew, my throat was parched. I gulped down the entire mountain view I just bought from a vending machine earlier. This is looking bad. Both Kazuki and I are powerless. There's basically no chance of us getting both away, both getting away. I might have to pick up the better of two bad choices. My only hope for avoiding the worst possible outcome. No, Kazuki. Hey, Kazuki. Kazuki jerked upwards when I spoke to her. 
She slowly, fearfully turned around. She was so nervous, her movements were stiff. Come on, act natural. Can you go get me something to drink? I just ran out. うーん、ていうか宮城くんさ。まだここにいるつもりこれでも僕君たちを連れて帰らなきゃならない立場なんだけどな。うん、ウェル。宮城君。あいつは what? Really? Well, that makes me happy. Students these days always seem to get bored when I talk about old times. Why don't we do an article for the newspaper club? We could do a whole special on you. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. I was shocked to find out that I was speaking as well as, say, uh, Ito. And Kazuki wants to keep playing her game for a while, right? Kazuki stood up on Seth. We'll stay here for a while, so go get me something to drink from the vending machine. I took a coin out of my pocket and practically forced it into Kazuki's hand. Okay, just three more of those and you can buy maybe a can of soda. Thank you. Run away without me. I tried to motion to her with my eyes. I didn't know if she understood. Mm. She nodded reluctantly. Then she slipped past me and headed for the door. Oh shit, okay, he is after her. Kazuki-kun, are you okay? Do you want me to go with you? Was he watching us? Did he figure us out? His expression was the same as it had been for a while now. It was the same goofy look the students always joked about. She says she's fine. There's nobody here in the school right now. If you want something to drink too, maybe you could ask Kazuki to get it for you? And then I realized I might have made a mistake. Kazuki's hand was already on the doorknob. Oh, maybe I will. <sighs> I was gonna have boss coffee. <laughs> I'll take a can of coffee. The one with a little bit of sugar. You know the one I mean? It says for mornings on it. And it's in a red can. Kotsky glanced over at me. You're worrying too much about me. I figured it out that something's wrong. Wakui was running, th rummaging through the inner pocket of his suit. I never put coins in my wallet, you know. I always keep them in different pockets. 
財布を落とした時の被害分散にもなるし。So if I ever drop my wallet, I won't lose as much money. <笑>お札は別ね。ちゃんと札入れを持ってるよ。Oh, that doesn't go for bills, though. I just put them in a bill holder. He's so talkative today. How long does it take to search for change? So, when you have a lot of people who are in the world, you can't get a lot of people who are in the world. And you know, if you forget where you put your money, when you find it again, you feel like you've made a lucky discovery. そういうささやかな喜びが人生には必要なんだよ。You need those kind of small joys in life. 先生、いいから早くお金渡して。僕、喉が渇いて仕方ないんですよ。Mr. Wakui, hurry up and give the money. I'm really thirsty. I got a little aggravated and my tone was a bit harsh. But I instantly regretted it. If I did not call him, Walker would figure out what I was up to. Sorry, I'm having trouble, so much trouble finding it. Oh, here we go. Walker finally took 200 yen out of his pants pocket. Okay, thanks. k a z u k i spread out her hand. It was holding the few coins that I'd given her. Wakui put his hand over hers and dropped two hundred yen pieces. The coins fell. They collided with the coins in Kozuki's hand. And didn't make a sound. What? What is going on? Huh? What the fuck? Is this his fucking stand ability here? Like. That's weird. I should be able to hear the sound of two small pieces of metal colliding from this close by. It's over. My stand, the Song of Silence, can remove sound from anywhere. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Waku is rummaging through his pockets again as he opens and closes his mouth. What is he doing? Something feels off. And then I realized why I felt that way. Hello, Rimsy. Welcome to the stream. Wakui was talking to Kalski, but I couldn't hear what he was saying. Oh, fuck. He's activated Song of Silence as his stand ability. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What the? I put my finger on my ear to see if it was clogged. And then I noticed something else weird. Normally I'd be able to hear the sound of my fingertip touching my eardrum. But no matter how many times I tried jamming my finger into the small hole, I didn't hear a sound. Come to think of it, I hadn't heard any other sounds for a while either. Why? What's going on? I t 
tried speaking to Kazuki. Oh shit, now everyone's like Kazuki. Is something weird going on? That's true, sound manipulation. This is the ultimate ability to counter Kazuki. Oh wow, you're right. Oh shit. I was sure that I said that out loud. Well, I definitely know what to call the next stream. I couldn't hear my own voice. Kazuki didn't respond at all. She was looking at the coins in her hand like she was about to cry. Can you hear me? I yelled louder. He's gonna have to use telepathy. Oh boy. Gigalomaniac telepathy is the only way now. Oh god. But it didn't work. Why? That doesn't make any sense. My hearing was normal a second ago. There's no way I could just go deaf out of nowhere like that. Something weird has to be happening right now. But I have no idea what it could be. Yeah, this is the world's quietest let's play of, of mine. <laughs> tried to tell myself I might be hallucinating. I closed my lips and stood still as I could. I listened carefully. It wasn't pure silence. I could hear what sounded like a ringing in my ears. Yeah, that sometimes happens when there's no sound. I could still hear it. How does ringing in a person's ears work again? Is it really sound in the strictest sense? Is it made by vibrating air? Or is it some kind of supersonic wave? Suddenly I felt very nervous and opened up my web browser on my phone to run a search. When I read what I found out there I got scared. Stress is said to be one cause, but it's still unknown where exactly in the body it occurs. Hello, Boba T. Welcome to the stream. Y yes, it is. It is made by the same people uh, who made Steins Gate. What the hell? I was sure that modern medicine would have an answer for that. How can they just say they don't know? Once I started noticing it, I couldn't ignore the ringing. The constant noise seemed to s start se to seem extremely unpleasant. Why was I hearing this ringing and nothing else? I do not have an LP for Steins Gate Scorpions. I I played it on my my own time before I started doing LPs, but I do have an LP for Chaos Head Noah. I have an LP for Chaos Head Noah. And in the future, I am planning to do both Robotics Notes game as well as an Anonymous Code. Oh, thank you, Boba T. I try. I looked back at Kazuki. She was holding her ears and looking around frantically. Is it happening to her too? Should I vocalize this line? I'm not going to vocalize this line because it's meant to be silent. Yeah, okay. I tried yelling. Kazuki didn't respond, but Walker, we looked at me. <laughs> His lips twisted into a grin. It was him! Are we going to see a stand? Come on. He was like a totally different person. I didn't list. I, I played Steins Gate and Zero. I did not do a linear bound phonogram though. Yeah. I I did I did do Steins Gate Zero though. The face of the lazy, unreliable teacher had changed completely. The easygoing, peaceful smile was gone. And that was what I knew for sure. He really is an assassin from the committee, just like Nightheart said. 
What's happening to me right now must be because of him. But how is he possibly doing this? Is he a psychic too? Ah! I felt like the ringing was growing louder. It was all I could hear. Oh, is he gonna kidnap him? Is, is this gonna be the bad ending, or...? He kept ringing at the same frequency, never letting up. It was like it was stabbing into my brain. I wanted to run, but I couldn't. There was no point in one of my hands over my ears. The ringing hadn't even been there for that long. But I always felt like I was going crazy. Already felt like I was going crazy. I screamed. I tried yelling as loudly as I could. But it didn't work. No matter how much I howled, I couldn't hear my own voice. Who could have known it would be so stressful not to be able to hear your own voice? I put my hand to my throat and screamed again. I could feel my vocal cords vibrating. I knew I had to be speaking. But all I could hear was the noise. Was this really just a ringing in my ears anyway? It seemed like endless thunder in the sky. Maybe I was starting to go crazy. Maybe hearing the ring for so long now that I couldn't even recognize it as ringing anymore. Or maybe I was just hallucinating. My head started to hurt. Maybe. My field of vision kept wavering. I couldn't keep my balance. Even standing up became difficult. More sensory deprivation. Yeah, that's right. But he had uh, he had sensory deprivation. He was attacked by that by Sakuma too, and he was able to fight against that. It's like standing on the deck of a ship during a storm. I fell to my knees, unable to stay up any longer. I begged to hear another sound. I slapped my own body and slammed my smartphone into the ground, desperate to hear any other kind of sound, but it didn't work. Then I felt my phone vibrating and looked at the screen. I got another email. Was it from Kazuki? Maybe she found a solution. I opened it, hopeful. But of course my hopes were immediately crushed. It was from Wakui, not Koski. And this is what it said. They say that a com in a completely silent environment, a human will go mad within 45 minutes. I looked up. Wakui was looking down at me with a cruel smile on his face. There was a can of coffee in his hands. I wasn't sure when he'd gotten it. He took a slow sip from it and laughed. What happened to Kazuki? I spun my head around desperately looking for her. She was rolled up in a ball by the entrance to the room. She'd covered her ears with her hands and was shaking. She couldn't escape either. Did what we know all along? That we knew who he was and were trying to escape. I thought I could get the initiative, but he'd been laughing at me the entire time. Still, isn't there anything I can do about this ringing sound? I thought it was at a consistent frequency, but it wasn't. There was a faint rhythm. What is this sound? I need to get rid of it somehow. Otherwise, I might really go crazy, just like Waka we said. Then my phone shook again. There was another email from Waka we. Do you want to know what that sound is? 
Ooh, I, I think it's like the freaking sound of uh, the your blood flow in your ears, I think. I looked up at Walkaway and nodded. He laughed. He seemed truly happy. and moved his lips in big, easy-to-read motions. It's the sound of your body. It was only then that I realized that I was making so much noise. That there were so many different chaotic noises within my own body. It made sense. It was normal for a living creature. My heart was beating. My blood vessels contracted. My blood cycled. My cells were dying and new ones were being born. My lungs inhaled oxygen and exhaled carbon dioxide. My organs emitted all kinds of different fluids. My intestines contracted. My nails were growing, my hair was growing. All of those things made tiny little sounds. Normally you would go through your entire life without hearing the sounds your own body made. But now with my sense of hearing shut off, they were overflowing from within me. They were the sounds of my life. But there was no joy in hearing the breath of life so directly. I wasn't trying to make these sounds. It felt like my body wasn't mine. I like someone was giving my body orders without asking my permission. And once I started thinking that way, I couldn't stop. My mind and body had separated. There was nothing but the terrifying sounds of life. My own body scared me. I want to rip my mind away from this lump of flesh. I want to rip off my skin and yank out my lungs, my heart, my intestines, every single organ, every single blood vessel. screamed in fear, but I couldn't hear myself. Only the chaotic sounds of my body as they played and lay at harmony. And since not there was nothing else to hear, I was forced to listen. I was forced to imagine which organ was making each sound. The sounds of a laugh more and more, a disharmonious noise that bounced off the walls of my skull. I didn't know if it was a real sound, an echo, or it was just hallucinating. My thoughts were swept up in the flood of sound. This doesn't make sense. Why am I suffocating in a flood of sound if I can't hear? How long is this going to last? The rest of my life? Until I die? I can't take that! Didn't he say that after 45 minutes I'll go insane? I'm not going to even last that long. I don't want to hear this noise for another second. Someone turn it off. I'll do anything as long as you turn it off. I'd rather die. I want to die. Kill me. I 
crawled along the floor and reached out my hand toward Wakui's feet. Kill me. I begged for death. Kill me. I wish for the silence that awaited beyond it. Kill me! Release me from this sound, please. Kill me! Suddenly a sound like shattering glass traveled from my ears to the rest of my body. I could finally hear my own voice again. Oh, that's talkative. Yeah. The sound of my shallow breathing was surprisingly clear. And it wasn't just that. The sound of my clothes rustling. The tiny chirping of birds in the distance, the sound of the wind, or the leaves blowing through the trees. The sound of a police car siren. The sound of Kazuki's pain coughing as she called him to a ball next to me. I could hear all those tiny sounds. I could hear every single sound in the world with that an abnormal clarity. What? Wait. What just happened? My vision was blurry. My head still hurt. But the sound was back. I've never been so happy in my life to hear all this noise. I see that we are interrupted. By who? Well, we spoke as calm Calmly as he walked to the wind windowsill. The glass on the club room window was broken. I picked up something off the floor. It was a ball. Who threw it? A baseball, huh? A coincidence? I think not. A baseball came through the window. And that was what interrupted Wakui's attack. But this is the fifth floor. Who threw that ball? The baseball team isn't practicing outside. And this room doesn't even face the baseball diamond anyway. The only people in this school know in the whole surrounding area just be me, Kazuki, and Wakui. Miyashiro-kun-tachi-ni-te-o-dasu-nara-sou-no-ri-yu-o-setsu-me-e-shiro-to-yu-koto-ka-na-a. I suppose this is her way of saying that I've been, if I'm going to mess with Miyashiro Kun and, and his friend, I need to give her a very good reason. Shh. She really does spoil you, Miyashiro Kun. Oh, was it no no? Oh, wait, no, give her a very good reason. Oh, my God, Serka! Sheesh, she really does spoil you, Miyashiro kun. Oh, my God! What? He doesn't seem to be talking to anyone. 
Oh my god, this is gonna be so motherfucking epic. Oh my god. He's not speaking to us. Oh my god, 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 oh my god! He's not on the phone. What the hell is he talking about? Alright. That's enough for today, I guess. You're just gonna let leave right now? Oh my god! Oh my god, we're gonna have some Sirica action in, in this chapter? I wasn't expecting that! Miyashiroku, Kazuki ku. I'm afraid we'll have to continue this another time. Wakui's voice was gentle, but he didn't even glance down at us as he went to the door. I'll tell you one thing, though. Don't think you can get away. You've gone too far. Yep, that's what I thought. I wonder why uh, Miyashiro and not just Ka and not just Kazuki. The committee has designated you as an enemy of the world. The matter's been decided, you see. I wonder if like the world is like an MMO of the committee, ironically. <laughs> It feels like it is, or they treat it like one. A simulated world. No matter where on earth you run, we'll use our worldwide network to track you. We won't let you escape. Ever. Goodbye. And be careful on your way home. Walk we left. And Kazuki and I were left alone. <laughs> Alright. We are gonna stop here for today. Uh, I'm gonna keep that, but... Oh my god! I don't know how much, like, the good and bad roots have in common. Like, I, I hope that they have a lot in common. But oh my god! Oh my god! Sarah, get helping out there! Oh shit! Oh my god, that was so incredible! Oh my god! That was so cool! Seriously. I love how even, like, the committee backs off in front of Serica. She is so goddamn badass. Oh, man. Oh, man. I really just want her to be able to... Oh, my God. I hope she's able to leave, lead a full life and everything. I just want to see how, how she is without that stupid desire controlling her. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Serica is so cool. And if possible, oh, they st oh, it still hasn't diverged? Okay, so a lot of this will be fast-forwarded when we do get to the bad ending. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was not expecting the Kazuki route to have all this Serica content. <laughs> like, I assume... Nono's route is going to be about the real Senri. We'll finally know what's up with her. And and the Uki route, I assume, is going to be uh, about more about the underground facility and the creepy old lady who we barely saw. But, oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, we know freaking Wakui stand ability here. Song of Silence. And, uh, whew. So they were saving him for this route. They were saving him for this. 
Wow, and it makes sense because he's with the committee, and why would the committee care about anything of the other stuff that was happening? Like, uh, Sakuma was trying to impress them, but he wasn't like acting like doing anything to mess up their plans. But oh my God, you guys, we were gonna we are going to continue this on Friday, and I will continue trails on Thursday. So until next time. I will say so long, farewell, Avlita saying good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya. <laughs>